Hi, I'm Nancy Murphy, also called the Yellow Dot Artist, and you are joining in for Artist to Artist, Let's Learn Together. As part of this series, I'm going to be reviewing different products, and today I'm bringing you a book, a wonderful resource. It's 1,500 color mixing recipes for oil, acrylic, and water painting brushes. Oh, not brushes, but mixes. So what's really good, as an artist, I've struggled so much to find skin color, for instance, and um, colors to use in landscapes. So what's amazing about this book, and I'll show some close-ups, some de demonstrations, is they teach you how to mix a main color and then how to mix the different uh, color variations or um, shades and tones to the, the different paintings. So for instance, it's like a cookbook for these things. So here's a color mixing guide. And what you do is you pick the recipe that you want. You can look either in the back of the book, the index, or you can look it up, you know, which category you want, landscaping or portraits or whatever it is. And here you put the amount, the part of mix. Let's say that you're mixing a shade of green. So you would take one recipe is to take a catamine yellow and another is black. So depending on the shade that you want, you might take just a little bit, maybe one part black and four parts um, of the yellow and you mix it together and you get this great green and then you do different variations in the amounts to get the different shades. So it's absolutely amazing. I happen to be working on a portrait right now and it's a, a rugby portrait. My son is a big fan of rugby. So I thought I'd uh, do a rugby portrait. So I mixed up the shades yesterday for the skin color and I have four guys on it. So I'm going to have different shades of it and depending on shadows. And so I mixed it up and it wasn't quite what I wanted, but then I looked at the recipe when I got the book last night and I was able to mix the exact colors that I wanted for the shades. I'm really excited about that. So for instance, here's a section on skin color for portraits. And it lists all the different colors of paint that you will need. So here's the master page and it tells you the skin tones and palettes for basic mixes. And then from each of the mixes, you can get the different shades that you want. It has the gray skin tones that are naturally done. You can search for additional skin tones. It gives the different facial planes for instance, the mouth, the eye, the ear, the different colors that are on the face and the typical colors that are, you are using, that you need to use, and for eye tones. And it breaks it down into oils and acrylics. Most of the time, the paints look to be the exact same colors, but then also a breakdown for the skin color uh, using watercolors. Though I haven't used watercolors, so I'm not real familiar with it. But I'm really excited to get to work on this today. Here is an example of the first skin tone recipe. Uh, because my players are from England, as you can see, they're all white guys, at least in the picture I'm using for reference. So I'm choosing the light skin tone. So for this, the recipe reads, a three catamine red light, two yellow ochre. So here is my paint. That's Academine Red Light, and in that kind of mixed up bottle, that is the Yellow Orca. So here is the mixing card. And as you can see, for color one, the red, it goes to the third line, though it's not perfect, and also overextends on the other. So what you do is you mix them together. This is to mix them very well until it resembles a color that is on, this may be kind of hard to do. I'm just mixing on here. It doesn't really matter. I'll wipe it off with a wet towel or dry towel when I finish. So I'm mixing the master recipe that it gives at the top of the page. And let me put this up here. I haven't mixed it a whole lot yet, but as you can see, here's my color and there is that color. So it doesn't quite look exactly like it. So I'm just going to keep mixing it until it gets a little, um, better incorporated. So what you do is you take that master color and then it tells you right here, if I want a light skin tone, 
I will take two parts white. So I'll go back to my measuring card and I will mix two parts of this color of white. One speck of the master color. And in the book, they define a speck as truly a speck, the top, uh, the size of a, a needle, and a needle, uh, the size of a, a pin. So just a tiny speck. And then one speck of the Naples yellow hue. So I have to pull in a third color and get one speck of that. And I will show that once it's mixed up. So there is my master color, which holding it up to it now looks just like it. The recipe calls for one speck of that master color, which is the size of a pen tip, two parts white and a little speck again of the, what color is that? Oh, it's the Naples yellow. So I will mix it together. And as you see, the palette's very clean now. Super easy to wipe off because it's plastic. I just ran it under a little bit of water and came right off. And as you see, the color is developing to something that's very pretty. It doesn't look exactly like the picture, but you know, it's pretty close. Now let me compare it to the skin color that I was making yesterday. As you see, there's a huge difference. It has more of a pink tone in it. A lot of people have more of a pink tone. So you can see the shadow in that guy's arm, which is a little bit darker. And it'll be interesting. I don't think I'm going to redo their faces, but on these two other guys, I will put, you know, a little bit on there. I'm just kind of dabbing it so you can see. But, you know, it's interesting. So I'm going to mix up some of the darker shades and, you know, create some shadows out of that and then keep you updated as I move along in the painting. Earlier when I mentioned about graying a color, you want to do the shades and tones and you're not supposed to use black to make a shade darker and you're not supposed to use white to make it lighter. So here's an example of the skin tone that I'm using. And you're supposed to use on this mix, the, the color mix that I have that I've chosen and to give highlight color, I use one part pen tip amount of the yellow Naples, uh, Naples yellow and two parts white. So you mix that together and you get a highlighted color. You have to mix really well. You're gonna move your palette brush around to really get the colors incorporated. Okay, so let's move that down here. Okay, now to make it darker, the colors are four parts burnt sienna and one part white mixed with the master color. So let's go here and mix that. As you see, I have them in the little dollops that they uh, recommend. As you can see side by side already, one is certainly lighter and one is certainly darker. So I'll put them right next to each other so that you can see the difference in shading. Isn't that wonderful? And so this again is a lighter color, my master color, and that's a, a darker color. So one will be shadows and one will be like sun highlights or just um, highlighted areas on the skin. So there you have it. If you have questions about color mixing or challenges about anything, you know, send me an email or post a comment below. I'm pretty good about getting back to people. Let me know how you like the book. I love the book. It's just what I've been looking for and haven't been able to find. So best of luck with your painting.